Hi everyone, hope you have been safe and well staying at home, practicing social distancing. I've been doing some cleaning at home, including cleaning up my hard drives, and I came across some haul footage that I haven't gotten around to editing yet. So I've combined three hauls into this one video, and they are from 2017, 2018, and 2019. Since it's been a while, I will also let you guys know if I like the items or not, so let's get started. The first haul is from YesStyle, and this is from last year. I ordered some makeup, accessories, and stationery. The first item is an S curler from Shu Emura, and I haven't really used this, so I probably shouldn't have gotten it. The next one is the Ink Black Cara Volume Curling from Peripera. This wasn't that bad, but it's also nothing special. Next is a Holika Holika lip tint, and I actually gave this to my sister already. Next is the limited edition Maison Kitsune eyeshadow palette from 3CE. I bought this just because I like the packaging. Um, the inside colors are okay, but I've only used this palette once or twice because I don't really like shimmer shades. Moving on to accessories, first up is this Periwinkle colored mini wallet. I did enjoy using this for a few months. Next up are some AirPods accessories. This one is an orange case with a sleeping cat and a bell. It's pretty cute, but also quite noisy. I also bought another more minimal AirPods case, but I've never used it and I don't know where it is anymore. Finally, moving on to stationery. First up is this vintage washi tape set. I really like this and I've used it a lot recently. I also got these thinner one color washi tapes and I really like them too. For stamps, I got two one of them says memo with a memo sheet and the other one is a square that you can use for different functions. I also got this brown multicolor ink pad to use with the stamps. Next up are a ton of stickers. First are these orange and white sticker packs from it says Little Planet um, and they are basically color themed. Next up are these three packs that are kind of abstract theme shaped one is more travel themed and the last one is cafe themed and these seem to be from mo card mo card but the label from yes style also says little planet next are these three other packs which are red yellow and blue themed and all of these stickers are printed on washi paper so they actually are quite sheer and go onto the page very thinly finally here are some other stickers these are colored dots and I chose very toned down, earthy tones for the two packs here. One more sticker pack, these are vintage flowery themed. Moving on to washi tape, I bought two of these jelly PET tapes and these are actually clear. I also got some artist washi tapes, so here are Picasso, Van Gogh, and Matisse. And I will show you swatches very soon. I also bought some wide washi tapes, so these are good for covering full pages. Two of these are plant themed, and the third one is coffee themed. And lastly, I got some Traveler's Notebooks refills. These are obviously not the official brand, but they are very similar and a lot cheaper. Oh, and I got two original sizes and two passport sizes. So here I have all of the washi swatches in my notebook. Starting off with the jelly tape, I don't like these that much because they're really hard to peel and I'm not the biggest fan of the designs. Next up are the artist washi tapes. I really like these and there are other artists I believe too, um, but these were the only three that were in stock when I made my purchase. And lastly are the wide washi tapes. These look really nice, but they are a bit troublesome to use, so I don't reach for them that often either. And that's everything from my Yes Style haul. I think most items I bought were pretty successful, and for the other ones, I did share them with my friends and family. Now let's move on to a haul from Taobao from 2018 and most of the items are kind of pixel themed so I'm going to name this the pixel stationery haul. I think I bought these from multiple shops on Taobao and I do have quite a few repeats because I wanted to have extras to give out as presents. I don't know the formal names for these but the first one reminds me of the Neon Moon brand from Hongdae in Seoul mostly because of the font of the logo on the bottom right. This features a vintage computer window, which comes up in quite a few of these memo pads. Next up is another version of a vintage window, and this one features some letters at the top, so I guess you can type on screen. The next design is a vintage computer, and the screen of the computer is where you would actually write your note. 
Next, we have a Nintendo DS, which I did use to play back in the day. For these, you can write on the screens of the top and bottom. Here, I noticed that the pads from two different stores I bought from featured different colors and slightly different designs. So those were all of the Ben Toy Memo pads that I bought, and now let's move on to everything else. This one may be my favorite memo pad. It's a bit more modern in design, but still really colorful and cute. Going back to the paint tool windows, here are two memo pads that are the same, except one is more purple themed and the other is more pink. These pads look more like digital notebooks and you can see a keyboard down below with some of the keys flying around. You can actually circle your mood at the top here. And this is one of my favorite designs as well. Finally, something not computer themed. This is a cute peach milk carton and it says sweet paradise on the packaging. The last notepad is much larger. I think this is A5 size and it says moonlight punch romance on top. I still have this pad and I do use it from time to time. From another shop are a few items from the collaboration between City Super, Log On, which is a Hong Kong supermarket, Mr. Softy, which is an ice cream truck brand, and Traveler's Company, who make the Traveler's Notebooks. This is a passport-sized notebook and I bought it mainly for the cute design. It's blank inside and very similar to the original Traveler's Notebooks. I haven't used this notebook yet, but I hope to do so soon. From the same collaboration is this brass ballpoint pen and it's very mini sized and super cute but it's not very good for writing so i would say this is not a good purchase and lastly i bought a washi tape from this collection this features all of mr softy's ice cream products on it i'm a huge fan of the design but i haven't had many chances to use it so if i were to go back i probably would have left this out of my purchase as well and lastly from this haul are some stickers that i bought First are these strawberry milk cartons featured in Japanese. These are super cute, but you do have to cut them out one by one. So it's a bit troublesome, but I do like the design. On a similar note, these are sticker sheets featuring various desserts, including ice cream sundaes, ice cream cones, more ice cream cones, ice cream chucks, and some popsicles. I don't think I've used these either, but I do have them. So I think I will bring them out soon when the weather gets hotter. So that's it for the 2018 haul. Most items were quite similar, um, but now let's move on to the 2017 haul. I think these items were from various Taobao shops as well. Starting off with stickers, this is a pack of Hawaii themed stickers, and I bought this because I had a Hawaii trip at the end of the year. Half of these were clear stickers and the other half were kind of memo sheets that you could write on. Next were these emoji stickers, and you can see back then, iPhone 6 Plus was the newest phone. These you could call diary stickers since you can use them to mark out certain events in your journal or calendar. These are super colorful and fun to use, but I still have some left, so I will try to finish them up soon. I think these three packs were free gifts from the seller, so they feature Molang, the rabbit, as well as um, this girl who is in a lot of Korean sticker designs. There were so many sticker sheets here, and I've given some away, but I do still have some left. Moving on to another shop, here are three sheets featuring coffee, uh, various toast, and also some plant leaves. The next three sheets featured various matcha, food and drink items, um, planets from the solar system, as well as these little plant boxes that were really cute. I really like these, so I bought extras to give out as presents. Next are some die-cut K-pop stickers, and the first set features Seventeen, while the second one features EXO. I have used these in my diaries, so perhaps you have seen them before. Next are a box of pens. I didn't like these that much, but I do think I finished using or gifting out the box. This is a holographic pen pouch. It looked really pretty in the photos, but the quality was not very good, so I didn't use this for long. Lastly are some label stickers and one washi tape. The washi tape features various plant and animal designs. These two boxes have plant and sakura themed stickers inside. And the last box includes various dessert stickers. These three sticker boxes I did not enjoy using that much, with the exception of certain desserts from the last one. And that's all for the 2017 haul as well as this whole video. Thank you for watching to the end and I will see you all next time. Bye!